Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now we've got Jeff Selinger, Senior VP at Disney Learning with us today to talk about this app that we're looking at um, in Magic Academy. So Jeff, what, what's so new about this for Disney? Well, first off, Disney Magic Academy is a new learning initiative that's designed for families with children ages three to eight. And the goal here is to inspire a natural love of learning and creativity through a program of connected apps and products that encourage kids to learn through creating, making, and doing. And so is this is something that Disney haven't done before. I mean, I've seen apps that have had a learning aspect to them, but is this, this is a new thing. Yeah, this is absolutely a new thing. So um, what's, what's different here and what's different uh, from what's in the marketplace is number one, um, it's, it's Disney at the core, so it's the characters and stories that kids and families already love. And we developed the learning objectives um, in conjunction with top uh, academics and experts. Secondly, it's really um, a family experience. The way that it's designed, the children learn through making and doing, and as they create different things, those get shared back into a companion application for parents. Mm -hmm. And so the parents can see the things that the kids are making and the things that they're learning. And from there, they can actually send a digital high five back to the child. Nice, yeah. Which is pretty cool. So the kids know that uh, their parents are, are seeing what they're making. And then from there, we uh, suggest physical activities that can complement the digital learning. Okay. So if, mm -hmm. so if you're learning to, to count the application, um, we might suggest a, uh, an activity that is a physical version of that. Uh, as an example, uh, there's one where you can make your own sheep and, and it's a counting exercise. It, what's interesting with that is that it's really a great conversation starter between parents and children. So parents will be familiar with Disney as probably largely an entertainment sort of provider to the family. Obviously all the stories, films and the toys. And most, most, most recently, uh, Disney Infinity. Uh, viewers of the channel will know all about that. Um, so what, what's the inspiration for Disney to move into that educational space so, so wholeheartedly like this? Well, parents told us that there was a need in the marketplace, that it's a, it's a cluttered environment, and it's hard to find consistency and quality throughout the application experiences. And uh, within that, they're really looking for, for a solution that uh, helps with uh, supplemental, supplemental learning. And so does Disney draw on sort of outside expertise in terms of the sort of how to pitch that learning in a way that would complement, say, learning in the classroom? Yes, yeah, so uh, we, we have a, uh, a panel of um, advisors and talk, top, epi uh, top academics that help build all of the learning objectives uh, throughout all the subjects. And that really goes all the way down into gameplay and the way that things are executed. Mm -hmm. And is this an experience, so you've talked about books um, and apps. Uh, learning, my kids often learn in sort of on, online, on the web, and sort of web app type experiences. Is that something that will be part of the Magic Academy? Well, we're starting off with um, tablet, uh, uh, tablet uh, based experiences um, that could uh, potentially extend to web later on. Mm -hmm. but, so apps are where you're starting that. Um, and there's a range of apps, aren't there, coming out in this initial wave? Yeah, so the first apps that are coming out are around maths, and uh, it's, it's one application with five apps inside it. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason we did that is because it's easier to download one application and have a complete story throughout all of it. It's all set in the background of space where the child is running a space oasis along with Mickey and friends. Mm -hmm. And so five apps in one for math. The second oh suite of goodness. apps that are coming out are Creative Arts, uh, Mickey's Magical World of Arts. And in there, the child's like a little, a little animator making their own cartoons as they explore Creative Arts. Yeah, nice. And the ones um, we're seeing, are they aimed more towards the sort of younger age of the spectrum with the Mickey characters? Is there plans to maybe use some of the other characters 
in the Disney sort of chest of characters to engage an older child as well. Yes, yeah, so Disney Imagine Academy is geared towards families with children ages three to eight. The first products that we're putting out are for ages three to five. And uh, within that, uh, Mickey made a lot of sense to start out because um, it's good for both boys and girls and it age, it's uh, very age appropriate. As we move into uh, some of the older demographic within six to eight, uh, we'll be exploring other franchises. And even after uh, the first two sets of products where you've got uh, Mickey Maths and then the Creative Arts one, the third one is Science with Frozen. And mm -hmm. from there, we will have a reading and writing program with Doc McStuffins. And how much are these apps cost? Is it a free-to-play experience? Are there other in-app purchases? So it's a freemium experience uh, where you can download the apps for free. And then each application is $2.99 or $13.99 for the whole experience. And in each um, set of products, uh, you can go into each one of the five applications and have a, a pretty robust experience for free. <laughs> so you can really get a sense of what the apps are, are going to be like in their full mode. So you can sort of try before you buy and then when you find a good connection then you can go ahead and make the purchase. That's exactly right and then it's just one purchase and you unlock that whole application. And are the challenges with a, a sort of a global educational product like this, um, particularly say UK, US, with teaching styles being different in different countries, how much localization are you looking to do bringing it to the UK? Well, we're starting off with um, with the, the U.S. versions, and with, with before too long, we'll we'll start localizing for for the various markets. So, just thinking about the apps specifically now, are there is there a particular game that you think really shows off what Image Academy is all about? Sure, I think uh, Count Along with Mini is a great experience to show. Great to mm -hmm. Well, perhaps we can have a look at that now. Sure. So this is really a sandbox approach. Um, it's it's Minnie's robot playground, essentially, and it truly is a playground. So here you get to build your own baby robots and design them exactly the way that you want to. Um, so you can change all their colors and the shapes of their heads. You can give them different faces and expressions. Nice. Um, you can actually change all the parts out too, and there's elements of design to function here because based on the parts that they have, they'll perform differently on the playground. Oh, right, yeah, I see. And, and then, of course, uh, you customize them any way that you want, and that's always a hall hallmark of a Magic Academy that there's uh, creativity and imagination at the heart of it, and you have this creative output that is able to be shared with uh, the parent. And so is, is that, can you do that in, in segments? So you could create your robot like we're seeing here, and then you could go and do one of the play playground activities, close the app and then come back and do another bit later, or would you need to do it all in one go? Nope, you can, you can do it um, in as many sessions as you want. Um, and once, the, once that baby robot has gone through all the pieces of the playground, they graduate up into uh, the hub area, which is basically the planet that you can scroll around on. And so that area becomes populated with all your baby robot creations and your, the rockets that you're building with Mickey and Minnie are flying all around. So this, it really becomes this robust world that's the child's very own unique creation. Nice, my kids will love that. <laughs> They'll be making robots endlessly, I think. We we'll look forward to getting our our uh, hands on the app in the home and uh, I'll so see what my kids make of it first hand but really appreciate this say? early sort of sneak peek so recycle. thanks a lot Jeff really appreciate it's it uh, thank you very much Andy just pick which cool. kind you want to do you can